Thin Blue Line Radio, Monthly Roll Call. April 1971, the 8th of April, Sergeant William Duddy Hall, age 51, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally injured in a road collision when his police car crashed. 10th of April, Police Constable Douglas F. Beckerson, aged 22, Metropolitan Police, killed in a fall through a glass roof trying to arrest a violent suspect. 25th of April, Temporary Detective Constable Alan Chowles, aged 29, Metropolitan Police, drowned off duty saving life of a boy following a boat capsize. 27th of April, Police Constable Robert Stanley Beezer, aged 21, Metropolitan Police, killed when his patrol car crashed, responding to an emergency call. 1973, the 4th of April, Police Constable Royston Victor Gerard, aged 27, Sussex Constabulary, killed when struck by a car while on a police motorcycle training course. 14th of April, Sergeant John Albert Broadbridge, aged 45, Durham Constabulary, killed in a police van which was in a head-on collision with a car. 20th of April, Police Constable James Hay, aged 42, Glasgow City Police, collapsed and died of heart failure on duty in Murray Hill Police Station. 1974, the 16th of April, Acting Constable Thomas George McCall, aged 33, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot dead at a security barrier by terrorists in a passing vehicle. 1975, the 3rd of April, Police Constable Ian Rogers, aged 25, Greater Manchester Police, fatally injured when hit by a train while checking for children on the railway. 5th of April, Detective Sergeant John Wilson Crockett, aged 41, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally injured in a road traffic collision when going off duty, holder of a Queen's Commendation for Brave Conduct. 11th of April, Constable Albert Edward Saunderson, aged 45, Royal Ulster Constabulary, died of injuries sustained while going on duty in 1974 when hit by a stolen car. 1976, the 6th of April, Police Constable William Robertson, aged 34, Strathclyde Police, collapsed in the police office at 4th and died of a brain hemorrhage. 20th of April, Detective Constable William Parker Scott, aged 44, Royal Ulster Constabulary, collapsed and died searching for gunmen who had attacked his neighbour. 23rd of April, Reserve Constable William Ronald Crooks, aged 30, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot on mobile patrol when ambushed by terrorist gunmen. 28th of April, Detective Sergeant Ronald A. McMahon, aged 37, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally injured in a road collision responding to an emergency call. 1977, the 8th of April, Constable John T. McCracken, aged 22, Constable Kenneth William Sheehan, aged 19, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot by terrorist gunmen in a vehicle they had stopped. The 16th of April, Police Constable Mervyn Evans, aged 25, Cheshire Constabulary, while undertaking police motorcycle training, was killed in an accident. 1978, the 15th of April, Reserve Constable John Wilson Moore, aged 57, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed when a terrorist landmine exploded under his car at his home. 20th of April, Detective Sergeant Charles Edward Brisley, age 47, Kent County Constabulary, fatally injured when struck by a lorry trailer on duty in Folkestone Harbour. 22nd of April, Detective Constable Laird Miller McAllister, aged 36, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot dead off duty by terrorist gunmen who called at his home. 1979, 17th of April, Constable Richard Allen Baird, aged 28, 
Constable Paul Moore Gray, aged 25. Constable Noel Alexander Webb, aged 30. Reserve Constable Robert A. Lockhart, aged 44. Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed while on mobile patrol by the detonation of a terrorist car bomb. 1979, 24th of April, Detective Constable Alexander Lawson Hamilton Forrest, aged 45, West Midlands Police, while on duty became ill and died at an election meeting. 27th of April, Sergeant Roger Edward Coyne, aged 30, Metropolitan Police, killed going on night duty when his moped was hit by a drunk driver. 1980, the 4th of April, Reserve Constable Bernard Montgomery, aged 33, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot dead by terrorist gunmen while off duty at his place of work. 9th of April, Constable William Stephen G. McGill, aged 24, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot in a terrorist ambush while attending a crime scene. The 11th of April, Reserve Constable Frederick Victor Wilson, aged 43, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot by terrorist gunmen while off duty going to his work. 1981, the 2nd of April, Constable Kenneth John Aitchison, aged 23, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed by a terrorist undercar booby trap bomb when going off duty. 27th of April, Constable Gary Desmond Martin, aged 28, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally injured by a terrorist booby trap bomb when checking a suspect lorry. 30th of April, Police Constable Paul Kenneth Worth, aged 34, West Midlands Police, hit by a lorry and fatally injured while assisting a motorist on the motorway. 1982, the 16th of April, Sergeant David Brown, aged 35, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot and fatally injured by terrorist gunmen while on his way to duty. 23rd of April, Constable Gordon Arnott Anderson, aged 21, Constable Dennis Joseph Maguire, aged 25, Reserve Constable Mabel Elizabeth Chain, aged 29, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally injured in a police vehicle crash, responding to an emergency call. 1983, the 13th of April, Police Constable Simon Rogers, aged 22, Metropolitan Police, died from heart failure while undertaking firearms training. 30th of April, Police Constable Stephen Paul Walker, aged 23, Metropolitan Police, struck by a car while chasing two suspects across a road. 1984, the 11th of April, Police Constable Ronald Ian Hlew, aged 53, Metropolitan Police, collapsed and died of heart failure, struggling with a violent prisoner. The 12th of April, Constable Michael William Dawson, aged 23, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed by a terrorist bomb explosion while checking a suspect package. The 17th of April, Police Constable Yvonne Joyce Fletcher, aged 25, Metropolitan Police, fatally shot while policing a political demonstration outside the Libyan Embassy in St James's Square, London. A memorial stone was erected near the scene by the Police Memorial Trust. Police Constable Bernard Francis Warren, aged 36, Surrey Constabulary, killed in a road traffic collision while travelling home from duty. 22nd of April, Police Constable Nicholas Edward M. Archer, aged 28, Leicestershire Constabulary, killed when struck by a car while escorting a large crowd at night. 1985, the 3rd of April, Reserve Constable Michael Keith K, aged 38, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed outside Newry Court by the detonation of a terrorist car bomb. 1986, 
the 23rd of April, Inspector James Hazlitt, B.E.M., aged 54, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot in a terrorist ambush while off duty outside his home. 28th of April, Police Constable Anthony Tom Edward Hughes, aged 46, West Midlands Police, died of heart failure while on duty with the Mounted Branch. 1987, the 3rd of April, Reserve Constable George Ian Gray Shaw, aged 51, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot in a terrorist ambush as he left the police station in a car. 11th of April, Reserve Constable Frederick V. Armstrong, aged 40, Reserve Constable Robert James B. McLean, aged 44, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot on foot patrol when ambushed by terrorist gunmen. The 20th of April, Inspector David John Eid, age 38, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot dead on foot patrol when ambushed by terrorist gunmen. 23rd of April, Sergeant Thomas Cook, aged 52, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot when ambushed by terrorist gunmen while off duty. 1988, the 14th of April, Police Constable Francis John Mason, QGM, aged 27, Hertfordshire Constabulary, shot dead when he intervened in an armed robbery while off duty, posthumously awarded the Queen's Gallantry Medal. A memorial stone was erected near the scene by the Police Memorial Trust. 1989, the 11th of April, Constable David William Cooper, aged 47, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally injured in a road collision while responding to an emergency call. 16th of April, Police Constable Anthony John Salt, aged 30, West Midlands Police, fatally injured when assaulted and robbed while on surveillance duty. 1990, the 10th of April, Police Constable Ian Gray, aged 43, Police Constable Martin Joyce, aged 31, Lothian and Borders Police, killed when their unmarked police car was in collision with a van. 24th of April, Police Constable Stephen Derrick Gant, aged 31, Ministry of Defence Police, killed by the unintentional discharge of a pistol on guard duty handover. 1991, the 6th of April, Detective Constable John Spent McGarry, aged 46, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed by a terrorist undercar booby trap bomb while off duty. The 13th of April, Sergeant Samuel Ernest McCrum, aged 62, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot by terrorist gunmen while off duty in his wife's shop. 17th of April, Police Constable Paul John Simmons, aged 32, West Mercia Constabulary, Killed when observer in a traffic car which crashed while on patrol. 1992, the 17th of April, Police Constable Christopher Dennis Cooper, aged 31, Surrey Constabulary, fatally injured in a motorcycle crash responding to an emergency call. 1993, the 18th of April, Police Constable Michael Robert Perry, aged 36, Metropolitan Police. Killed when his patrol car crashed responding to an emergency call. 1994, the 14th of April, Special Commandant retired Samuel Montgomery, aged 76. Royal Ulster Special Constabulary, died of injuries received in a terrorist gun attack. 20th of April, Constable Gregory William Pollock, aged 23, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed by a terrorist mortar bomb fired at his police vehicle. 1995, the 18th of April, Police Constable Philip John Walters, aged 28, Metropolitan Police, shot and fatally wounded during a violent struggle to arrest a suspect. A memorial stone was erected near the scene by the Police Memorial Trust. 1996, the 22nd of April, Police Constable Samuel D. McLuckin, 
aged 52, Northumbria Police, collapsed and died of heart failure while driving to work. 28th of April, Inspector Vanessa Rosemary Carroll, aged 35, West Midlands Police, killed in a road collision while on secondment with the British Police Unit in Bosnia. 1997, the 2nd of April, Police Constable Giles Fraser Drinkhall, aged 35, Leicestershire Constabulary, killed in a road collision when he lost control of his police motorcycle. 1998, the 25th of April, Constable Cecil Boyle, aged 55, Royal Ulster Constabulary, collapsed and died after a struggle to arrest a man at a disturbance. 1999, the 20th of April, Inspector Ian Leslie Toomer, aged 50, Dorset Police, killed in a road collision when his police car crashed in wet weather. 25th of April, Police Constable Geoffrey Barry James Tooley, aged 26, Sussex Police, fatally injured by a speeding van which failed to stop at a road check. A memorial stone was erected near the scene by the Police Memorial Trust. 2002, the 21st of April, Police Constable Matthew David Nash, aged 29, Metropolitan Police, killed on the way to work when his motorcycle collided with a car. 2004, the 22nd of April, Police Constable Gary Alexander Wells, aged 47, Metropolitan Police, collapsed and died of heart failure on an officer safety training course. 2005, the 30th of April, Police Constable Richard Anthony Hultz, aged 48, Devon and Cornwall Constabulary, collapsed on duty at his police station and died later that day in hospital. 2006, the 13th of April, Police Constable Joseph Geoffrey Carroll, aged 46, Northumbria Police, killed while transporting a prisoner who caused his patrol car to crash. A memorial stone was erected near the scene by the Police Memorial Trust. The 27th of April, Sergeant Paul Hutchinson, aged 37, Devon and Cornwall Constabulary, killed while travelling to work when his motorcycle was in a collision with a van. 2009, the 17th of April, Police Constable Gary Andrew Toms, aged 37, Metropolitan Police, died in hospital from head injuries sustained on the 11th of April when attempting to stop and arrest robbery suspects. They were escaping in a vehicle. A memorial stone was erected near the scene by the Police Memorial Trust. The 22nd of April, Police Constable Christopher James Dent, aged 36, Metropolitan Police, killed in a road traffic collision during the evening when a car hit his motorcycle, Perryvale, West London, while travelling home from duty. The 28th of April, Community Support Officer David Adams, aged 59, Avon and Somerset Constabulary, collapsed and died assisting at a road traffic collision near Wolverton. 2010, the 6th of April, Police Constable Sean Peter McColgan, aged 37, Metropolitan Police, died when his motorcycle was in a collision with a car at Denham while travelling home in the late evening from duty at Hillingdon Borough. 2011, the 2nd of April, Police Constable Ronan Kerr, aged 25, Police Service of Northern Ireland, killed by a terrorist undercar bomb outside his home in Omar, County Tyrone, as he was about to set off for duty in Eskillin. 2012, the 28th of April, Inspector Preston Gurr, aged 53, Metropolitan Police, died of injuries sustained when his motorcycle was in collision with a car at a junction at Mitcham while travelling home from night duty. 2013, the 3rd of April, Police Constable Steve Rawson, aged 40, Hampshire Constabulary, died in hospital from injuries sustained when his unmarked police motorcycle was involved in a collision with another car at Swathling. 2014, the 14th of April, Police Constable Michael Chapman, aged 48, West Midlands Police, suffered a fatal heart attack, having cycled into work for a late shift. 
2015, the 14th of April, Police Constable Russell Wiley, aged 28, Humberside Police, died in hospital from injuries received the previous day when his and another police motorcycle were involved in a collision with a car on the B1362 Daisy Hill Road, East Burstwick. 2017, the 1st of April, Police Constable Gareth Browning, aged 36, Thames Valley Police, died from injuries sustained in 2013 when he was struck by a stolen car he was attempting to stop. 2020, Police Constable Matthew Lanny, aged 40, South Yorkshire Police, fatally injured when his motorcycle was in collision with a car as he responded to an emergency call. 2022, Police Constable Alex Prentice, Northamptonshire Police, became unwell at his base station of Pitchley and was taken to Kettering General Hospital, where he later died. 2023, Police Constable Andrew Boardman, aged 43, West Mercia Police. Whilst on duty at an incident, he collapsed and died despite efforts of paramedics already in attendance. Thanks for listening to Thin Blue Line Radio's monthly roll call. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, where you can find details of our upcoming Spotlight podcast, where we focus on one particular fallen officer. There's also our Through the Decades podcast, where we examine older cases from years gone by. You can also go to our website, thinbluelineradio.com, where you can learn more about us and what motivates us to promote the stories of fallen officers. There are also links to various welfare groups, and you can catch up with any podcasts you may have missed. If you'd like to contribute in any way, or if you're a family member wanting to be involved in us paying tribute, we'd love to hear from you. You can message us through Twitter or Facebook, or email askus at thinblueLineRadio.com. <laughs>